lovelies. I sure wish I hadn't moisturized right before starting this video because I am looking shiny. Uh, but you know, my skin has been a bother recently, so I'm having to go sort of like hardcore back into like a very strict skincare routine to try to chill it out. Um, I thought I'd do a little attic vlog today because we haven't done one in a while and quite a lot has changed up here. And you know, I'm just doing a few th different things today, so that's what we're gonna do. I woke up feeling super dehydrated, so I sat down with some water and some tea and a disappointing little like fizzy sort of flavored water thing, but like no sweetener, no sugar, nothing in it that's fun drink because you know, I quit Monster, so I still like having like a little fizzy drink. Uh, these drinks are not amazing. But you know, it, it's like, it's a healthy one. It's full of vitamins, so I'm drinking that anyway. And anyway, it's all just liquids. So same drinking those, I'm gonna like finish my skincare and just kind of like chilling before I get into things. And while I do all of that, I want to watch something. And I recently noticed that Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, is on Shudder now, which is very convenient because this little portion of today's video is sponsored by Shudder. Hello, here I am a while later, looking mildly more presentable because it's easier to do this sitting here comfortably than having to hold the camera. Hi. So if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you probably know who Shudder is, but in case you don't, let me catch you up. Shudder have sponsored a couple of videos on this channel in the past, which we love. We love a brand that supports alternative creators. And what Shudder is, is actually a streaming service, but it's all horror and thriller content. We love that. So yes, Shudder is a place that you can stream movies and like TV shows. As you're probably familiar with, there are multiple platforms that do this, but Shudder is entirely horror and thriller content and it's all human curated so you know you're actually getting horror and thriller content and not something that a bot has misidentified because I've had that happen on other streaming platforms before. The service costs $5.99 per month or $56.99 per year. You can stream it through your PC or laptop or whatever else by going on shutter.com or you can download the app so that you can stream it on your other devices as well. For instance, I often use my Google Chromecast to watch things on Shutter. And I have a little code for you guys that'll get you a 30-day free trial on shutter.com. All you have to do is go to shutter.com and the code that you will use is on screen now. It is simply Toxic Tears. That's not an affiliate code or anything, it's purely just a little code that'll get you a 30-day free trial if that's something you're interested in. Shutter has quite a big range of different horror content including older stuff, newer stuff, and some Shudder exclusives, so things that you can only find on Shudder, which is awesome. Some examples of their exclusives are One Cut of the Dead, Tigers Are Not Afraid, and the Creepshow series. I, today, of course, watched Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, gotta love that. Another recommendation I could give you guys is Antiviral. That's like a super weird one that me and Jake watched a while ago, but it's really, really interesting. So yeah, overall Shudder is a service that I really, really do enjoy. I love me my horror. So yeah, if you would like to try Shudder free for 30 days, then go to shudder.com and use the code Toxic Tears. Back to the day. Just really quickly, hold on. This movie right here, Tetsuo, uh, I watched this with a couple of friends the other day and it has got to be just the strangest fucking movie I have watched in my entire life. It is just, I, I couldn't even begin to describe it. If you're, in a, like, if you're a fan of industrial music, you'd probably quite like the soundtrack to this movie. There's definitely a lot of like industrial metal sounds and whatnot, but good god, the movie itself is just so weird and just uh, oh, so bizarre. So yeah, th there's that. This is what we want today. Well, uh, sorry partner, but looks like it's gonna be you and your trusty old right hand. Hello there! It is quite a lot later now. Um, I started this vlog and then it was like, hey, I'm gonna do a bunch of stuff that really isn't that interesting, such as work and all of the rest. So I watched my stuff, finished my skincare and everything. I put on like just a tiny bit of makeup now, just like, cause I didn't want to actually do makeup, but I also didn't want to be like focusing on like silly insecurities the whole time. So yeah, since I last talked to you guys, I did a bit of a workout. Didn't do as much as I wanted to, might do a little bit more later. Plus, I did get the, not the Wii, what's it called? The Switch, the Switch, Nintendo Switch uh, Ring Fit game, which I wanted like since I got my Switch, which was back at Christmas, but I'd looked at the price and it was like 70 pounds and I was like, <laughs> no. So I was like, do you know what? I'll wait, I'll wait for a while and then hopefully it'll go down in price and then I'll get it. Literally the exact opposite happened. Uh, coronavirus hit, gyms closed, everyone bought the Ring Fit and then people started reselling it for like 300 pounds. And I was like, oh. so, yeah, that didn't go well. Um, so every now and again, for over the past couple of months, I've been checking to see if it's back in stock and like it just hasn't been. It was all ex always expensive. And then I looked on Amazon the other day and again, it was someone selling it for like 135 pounds and I was like, <laughs> no, 
In fact, it was more than that. It was like close to 150, I think. So I was like, no, definitely not. So I actually just tried to quickly Google and see what like the original, like what the price it was supposed to be, just to get an idea of how much more expensive it was. So I could be mad about it. <laughs> and uh, Argos came up and I was like, hmm, I wonder. And it turned out Argos actually had some in stock, but they weren't in stock in the Argos near me, but they were in stock in the Argos near my friend's house. So they were very, very, very kind and went and got it for me, which was great. So yeah, now I have, Oh, they had it in stock at like the original price is my point. It was like back to the original price, which is still more than I wanted to pay. But you know, I've learned my lesson. So I just bit the bullet and I treated myself because it was my birthday recently. Long story short, I have the ring fit now and I do want to set that up tonight. Oh, it's such a horrible day. Uh, Cause that was another thing I wanted to do today was go for a little walk and take you guys with me. But oh my God, just let, let me show you how awful it is today. Switch these swapping between cameras here, but just. Like the camera isn't even capturing the awfulness. It is like being, it's being way windier than that. It kind of like the wind goes up and down, but it is being crazy windy and just raining all day. And apparently it's meant to be like that for like the next week. So yay. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> I'd originally wanted to go for a nice walk today and take you guys with me and maybe we could find some flowers to press, but it is so not happening. And I'll probably do like the little attic tour in a, like later on when it's dark. Cause then I can show you like with the lights and stuff, I think would be nice. So yeah, I am going to Toodle about, figure out what I need to do, and I'll catch up with you shortly. Hello there, I am back. Okay, so it's a while later, it is nighttime now, it is dark, so I can do my little tour in here. I didn't end up setting up the ring fit because I forgot that literally the last time I spoke to you, whenever I was telling you guys that, Jake was about to start screaming at, screaming? Streaming. I mean both, but I meant streaming. Jake was about to start streaming, and his studio is directly below my attic, so, you know, like ring fit, I think involves like a lot of like jogging in place and stuff. So it would have been loud. So I decided against that or any other workout that could have caused a bother. Um, so I'm going to do that tomorrow instead, which I'll get to that in a moment. So I spent a good while there then since I wasn't setting that up, just getting some work done. And I definitely got some bits and bobs that I need to do done, which made me happy. And I spent a good while basically working out like a proper schedule for myself, which I've been trying to get on top of for the past week or so. And I have sort of been like being more productive and like getting more done today and just generally trying to be a better functioning human doing the things that I would like to be able to do. Um, so yeah, I have been doing that and it has been going okay, but I haven't had any sort of like schedule or routine in place. Uh, I'm definitely someone who has never done well with schedules and routines. I just, I, I really struggle to stick to things like that. But you know, this is a schedule that I have made myself and it can be an, like adapted and changed so I don't have to feel trapped in it or anything. So I'm going to try really hard to get into that over the next week, you know, kind of ease myself in, figure it out. I've got like everything covered with it, like work stuff, exercise stuff, you know, like skincare, self-care, all of it, all sort of designed to work around each category. <laughs> it's, you know what I mean? So I'm hopeful, feeling hopeful, feeling positive we can do this. Uh, and then it just, I got way too good. Like it is so cold up here tonight. Like I just, I was absolutely freezing. So I went downstairs for a while, had some food, watched some shows, just sort of chilled out for a while. And now I am back up here and we're going to do the attic tour. So it's not perfect up here right now. There are some little sort of like messy things, but you know, it's fine. Like you guys haven't seen in ages, it has changed a fair amount, I think since the last time I did like an attic video and then like, very recently, like just after my birthday, I completely had to like change around a few things. So that is definitely different. So I actually got, I think I took a little video on my phone, like right before I rearranged everything to make way for new things. If I can find that, I will post that now. But yeah, so then since that I have rearranged and I will show you the kind of state it's in now. Okay, switching back to my old camera just for this little section. So we will start with this side, the side that I record on, the background you guys are familiar with. But I posted a picture of this on Instagram and I really threw someone off because they were like, oh my God, you sit on the other side. And like, they got confused because you know, if you have seen most of my videos, I am sitting where Josephine is sitting and that table is over there. So they thought like, it was mirrored or something, but no, I've actually flipped everything around and that's why it's like that. I actually don't like it being flipped, but I had to move this chair that used to be where I'm sitting right now, like the opposite corner. I had to move that to make room for other stuff, which we'll see in a minute. 
and I tried putting it on this side and for one it like blocked those drawers and stuff which wasn't ideal and it just it didn't look right I just really did, like I hated it it just didn't look right but then I couldn't really put it there without flipping everything I'm wondering why not why would that not work can I change it back I feel like I had a reason as to why I had to flip the entire setup for that chair to go there but now I'm like what was that reason Hmm, this attic might change again in a couple of days if I can't figure out what the deal with that was. But anyway, flipped everything. So that chair is over there now. There's a little footstool. We have a plant. We have the thing I sit on, which wrecks my back. It is like, it's not good at all for long recording sessions. And I have thought of just like getting a nice chair for sitting there, but then because it's a bench, Josephine can be with me. And if I got a normal chair, then Josephine couldn't be in the videos. And that would make me sad. So I haven't decided what to do with that yet. But oh my God, it actually breaks my back. I don't know why, because I can sit on like the ball or like other things and I'm fine, but that wrecks me. I don't know what it is. Anyway, there's my little shelf display that you guys probably know from the videos that just has all my knickknacks. It's in previous videos. I think some of the stuff on it has changed, but you know, it's generally the same idea. And my little mannequin, and I just have that Killstar caftan thing on right now. That's like one of my favorite things I own from Killstar, honestly. It's just like really I don't know, useful, and I can use it with a lot of things. So this is the little desk that has always been here. This was briefly different and then had to go back to this, uh, which I'll talk about a little later, but it's back to my like rickety foldy table right now, which isn't amazing, but it's fine. Um, I just have like my exercise ball under there at the minute. I sit on that a lot. Got little like notepads and to-do lists and all the rest here. I have this little TV screen, which my Where's my, oh, I left my Switch downstairs, but my Switch dock is hooked up to that, and so is my Chromecast, so can play things on there, can watch things on there, great. Laptop here, obviously, for my editing, my little uh, organizer, which is not very organized right now, I really do need to do that, but it's fine. Camera charger for this camera, camera charger for new camera, my phonograph which I love dearly. I was almost going to put it like my, all well, my vinyls on here to play while doing this and I realized we would have copyright music. So right now I have things sitting on top of it that shouldn't be, such as some dried flowers that I need to put away and some rings. Have my little sort of side table over here. Has my pumpkin, has my salt lamp, has my little candle holder thing. Oh, there we go. Some books, all the rest. My chair, my cushions, my plant, Josephine, all the rest. The drawers. This fridge, I don't think actually you guys have seen I got like a bigger better colder mini fridge for up here right now it is mostly just full of vaguely flavored drinks that are sad and then some like ice pack things because my skin was being a bother and that really helps so yeah <laughs> but mostly just drinks my folding table that I use for recording is just here for now because it used to go in there but now that's hard to get to because the chair <laughs> which is the whole thing but you know what this is fine here right now because back there if you remember is like my little kitchen area but right now that is not being used for its intended purpose and there's just a bunch of like DIY projects that are too big to go in drawers that I haven't dealt with yet so they're just they're sitting on there for now so it can be hidden it's fine and here we have the other side featuring my cluttered corner that just has not been dealt with at all let's pretend that that this whole bit isn't here <laughs> Something that needs dealt with, I haven't done it yet, it's fine. Uh, but over here is the biggest change, and that is uh, a setup that Jake got me for my birthday, which I was not expecting at all. Right, so I mentioned this was briefly different, so about a week before my birthday I decided to finally upgrade from my rickety, dodgy, shaky folding table and get myself an actual desk, oh yes. Um, so I got this one and that was over there, and the, you know, it had like this setup but a little more squished because it turns out that the new desk is a little bit smaller but it had the same setup and it was also <laughs> set up and it was great and I had no idea that Jake had got me this brand new setup so not very long later then we had to move it from where it was over to here set up the new stuff on this desk and then I still needed you know space for these things so then the rickety table went back up so things were briefly different in, in this area but they're kind of back to before and uh, yeah, now we have this. So I have a little sort of gaming setup here. Interesting things to come in the future, maybe. But yeah, so this is going on. So this is my little desk. My little like top drawer it just has like tissues, like hand cream, nail cream, gum, just like a little sort of like personal care things I might need throughout the day. Tape measure because like the amount of times I'm trying to figure out the sizes of things that I might need to get and stuff. It's just good to have on hand because I'm not good at judging and estimating sizes. 
this has sort of like some stationary stuff, some of which is hidden under here because it's from a new spooky box club unboxing that I haven't posted yet, so I didn't want to spoil it, so it's tucked away, but I've got like my little pencil case, I've got my old external hard drive, because there's still stuff I need on there, but it's not the one I'm working on from right now, why can't I speak, some pens and stuff, and then in the bottom here, camera equipment. <laughs> yeah, I got my little headphones and everything, so yeah, this is my little, little desk set up now. I can't remember how many tapestries were up the last time I recorded, so on each side here, there's actually the same one put this one up like a couple of days ago but like <laughs> Jake helped me put it up but it's it's so it's so wonky and I didn't want to like immediately tear it down when he had just helped me but I hate it so I'm probably gonna tear it down and try to re-put it back up so it's not so wonky uh, but I love this one I've wanted to put this up for the longest time I just hadn't got around to it so yeah I think that one's maybe always been there I'm not sure and there's still really not very much on this side because it's more awkward shapes so <laughs> you can still just see like the roof tiles, which is why it is so cold in here whenever it's cold and so hot in here whenever it's hot because there are just like a couple of little chunks of insulation but not a lot. And then if you remember, there are just like shelves, like drawer things in behind there. Uh, you can watch my previous attic videos if you have no idea what I'm talking about. I did like a lot sort of showing me setting this area up basically. The biggest downside about this is that I don't have this wall to record like outfit stuff against anymore, <laughs> which is annoying because I liked having just like a very plain wall to do that on but it's fine I think whenever I need to do that I can probably just move some stuff that's on this side out of the way and use that so it's not the end of the world. I totally forgot wanted to show what it's like you know at night if I don't want the lights and stuff on so first of all if we turn that off then it's very nice because we've just got the twinkly lights we've got the candle we've got the salt lamp you know very very relaxing very nice or we can set it on oh, put it back on a second and set some colors we love that or party! <laughs> party in the attic, yeah! <laughs> Love that. There we go. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that is the little updated attic tour. Nothing super, well, no, there have been a lot of changes. It's because I'm used to it, but I think like the last time I actually recorded one of those videos, like there's been a lot of changes since then, so. So I think what I want to do for the rest of this video, since today got off to like a really late start and then I just wasn't, like I didn't have a super clear direction for like most of the day, I'm actually going to make this a like two day vlog and pick up again with you guys tomorrow. Two days later. Oh! <laughs> I punched myself in the boob. <laughs> oh dear. Measuring. Please do not move your thumb. What? I actually need to stop because I, I'm not wearing workout gear and this is not good. Can I stop and come back to it? No, why did I actually jump? <laughs> that is not the goal here. How do I quit? Um, okay, I'll come back to that when I'm appropriately dressed because my pajama bottoms are falling down. I do not have a sports bra, so everything is bad. But that's really cool and it's set up now, so awesome. Okay. Hey guys, so yeah, I forgot to like, not forgot, just didn't really get a chance to vlog properly yesterday. So what went on yesterday, I did some yoga in the morning because that's something I'm trying to get into. I'm not nearly as flexible as all the people I watch for like the how-to videos though, so that is always a struggle, you know, they're like, okay, and I just like spread your legs to like a completely straight line and then gently lay your head on your knee and I'm like, I can't do that, but you know, maybe we'll get there someday. Uh, yeah, so I did some yoga and then it actually like looked like a nicer day, so I decided to go for a walk. <laughs> I won't lie, I, you know, we want to be positive, but I won't lie. Um, <laughs> walk I even messaged Jake and I was like this is the worst walk ever I hit this. Um, yeah it, it wasn't a nice walk I could like sit here and like ramble about all the reasons why. Um, a big problem was like the weather is I, like I always forget one of my least favorite weather combinations is when it's really 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 bright so you can't see anything and it's really windy. That weather combination 
will never fail to make me like absolutely furious. I think I even spoke about that in one of my Barcelona vlogs because me and Jake had tried to go to the beach and it was like a really windy day and I like, I got so mad and he thought it was so, so funny. Uh, if you haven't seen my Bar Barcelona vlogs yet, do feel free to check them out. I think they're fun. That's probably just because I love Barcelona and I really miss it right now. <laughs> but yeah, uh, but yeah, so that weather combination always makes me mad. And then there were just like a bunch of other things as well. So it actually, it was not a fun walk, but I did it. I got out. I got some fresh air, got some sunshine, got a little bit active, you know. That's some activity I wouldn't have otherwise done. So even though it kind of sucked, I don't regret it. What else did I do yesterday? I feel like I did a lot, but I can't remember any of it. I know I did some editing. Uh, edited part of this video that you're watching right now. I need to go and edit the rest of it in a moment so I can get it up tonight for you guys, hopefully. Uh, so like, if you're watching this on the day it went up, I'm recording this on the same day. It's rare. <laughs> Uh, as you saw a moment ago, I finally, finally go around to setting up my ring fit. Um, it's so cool and so fun. I'm really excited to play it, but I'm not dressed. Like, you can see I'm in my pajamas. I'm so not dressed for it. Like, my, like, pajama bottoms kept falling down. So, like, the thing that goes in your thigh was slipping down. And, like, I'm obviously not wearing any form of bra. So, like, the jogging was not good. But it's, like, it's so cool. The other problem as well is, like, to jump, you're just supposed to point the ring down and press. And it does, like, a little poof. But I keep trying. <laughs> to actually jump because I'm not coordinated. <laughs> oh, so that's fun. Also, you, I don't know if you guys would be able to tell, maybe you could, this video was filmed like between two different cameras. So the one I'm using right now is my usual camera that I record everything on, the one that's like falling apart. But then I also got a new camera for vlogging that I have that was sort of testing out with this video basically. So the bits that you saw that were recorded with the new camera, the sound might not have been that good. It should be better now because I can't have any microphone for it. I'm about to show you. I'm about to show you the camera and the microphone. So I got a new vlogging camera because this one's falling apart and like when I try to vlog on it like out and about in the world because it's like literally falling apart like I'm not like it's actually coming apart you can hear it like clicking and stuff as I walk and it's just it's not good. I got one for vlogging uh, after all these years of using one that's totally busted up and like I don't know a lot about like camera equipment like this little camera you just point shoot and go but like Jake's insisting <laughs> on like giving me more of a setup. So I got this little dinky camera and then he was like, you're gonna need a microphone. And I was like, sure. Do you know what? The money's your, in your account. You just order me the microphone you need. And I was expecting, because this camera is so small, I was expecting like something small, like, like a lav mic. The microphone's bigger than the goddamn camera. <laughs> it came through and I opened the box and I was like, and he was like, yeah, what'd you expect? I was like, I did like something that was something that made more sense for the size of the little camera. So I think that's absolutely hilarious that it's like, the, it's such a small little camera and then you have this giant fucking microphone on top. But you know, it's pretty cool and it has like a little... So yeah, hopefully um, I can improve that. I know this thing isn't great in low light. Some of the footage that I got on it for this vlog, like inside in the attic was definitely like kind of grainy. So apparently you can get like a light that attaches on here. So I'll look into that. I'm hoping that it's not another case of something that's bigger than the actual camera, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully new and improved vlogs coming soon. Also today, I've just been so tired. I don't know why, but I have been like, like unreasonably tired more so than I would usually be. And I don't know why, but I am fighting through it because tomorrow I have a lot of stuff to do, including recording some videos and such. Yay. Pretty much all stuff to do with like my channel but it's like a bunch so for the rest of tonight my plan is to edit this video upload this video set up everything i'm gonna need for recording tomorrow and then just have like a real good pamper night the works everything make myself feel real good and ready for tomorrow so i can get some stuff done that is what i'm going to do i'm still getting back into the swing of my recording and hopefully i will be being more productive and pumping out videos soon. That is my plan. That is a point that I want to get to. And for once, I'm feeling somewhat optimistic. So here's hoping. Here's hoping it goes well. Fingers crossed for me, guys. Okay, so that is everything for this video. It was just like a little mini vlog. The main point was kind of to show you the new attic setup for now. And then I do want to hopefully start doing some more fun vlogs soon whenever I have an idea of exactly what I want to record. Uh, but for now, I will love you and leave you. Please do give the video a wee thumbs up if you enjoyed spending a couple of days with me. I would very much appreciate that. Also, leave me a comment and let me know how you're doing. And just, you know, if you have comments about anything in the video, you know, I just, I just like to hear from you. If you're new here and you feel like joining the little family, feel free to subscribe. We would love to have you. And finally, on that note, if you guys could consider checking out my Patreon, that is an extra way to, like, join the family extra. And it supports this channel, like, more than anything. So a huge thank you to the people who already support me on Patreon. You guys are the absolute best. 
the best. And a huge thank you to anyone who's gonna go check it out now for the first time. Oh yes, the link is in the description and there's like loads of information on that page if you're a bit confused about Patreon. So pop on down. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye lovelies.